Well, good morning, ICC. Uh, this is another midday connection. About that, it's probably about due. Man, oh man, are you like I am? I would have never guessed at the start of this COVID-19 stuff that we would be this long into it. Uh, that our gold standard would be replaced by toilet paper standard and that uh, that would become the economy of the day or that, you know, so many parents would be homeschooling their kids for the rest of the year. I bet you have, a, as I've said before, a whole new appreciation for teachers. Um, but you've also learned a lot. We all have learned a lot. And so um, I was thinking a lot about hope and fear uh, during this time. And I talked about this earlier, but uh, there's a passage in First Peter that I thought it would be good to share. It says, in his great mercy, he's given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. We need that hope right now, don't we? You know, I, I ran across a devotional by Bob Goff, and as you know, Bob Goff is a, um, I love to read his stuff, and I just love the way his brain works. So uh, let me share this with you, and, and then I'm going to pause and probably make commentary as, as I go through it with you. But he says, I've been with plenty of friends when they received a devastating diagnosis. I've learned there's nothing you can say to someone who's just learned that they have one year to live. There's no pep talk for someone who's just been told they'll likely never get out of the wheelchair. Sometimes the only appropriate response is to grab their hand and cry. I've also lived long enough to watch these friends stare into the face of the uncertainty and to choose hope. They've chosen hope. They've chosen to say, sure, the odds are against me, but God is not. They've chosen to hope for an extra decade with their families or to imagine one more walk by the ocean. Why? Because choosing the way of hope is far better than anything uncertainty puts in front of us. We may not have to face anything as devastating as, as these things, but we've all faced the choice between hope and fear. Whether it's questions about what exactly will happen, when will, when will we pass away, or uh, the uncertainty about whether we'll find love in our life down the road, or uh, what's going to happen as we face the unknown. Will things ever go back to normal with this COVID-19? Uh, what's it going to be like? But when we stand at this intersection, few try to shrivel, or fear rather, tries to shrivel our hearts and shrink us down. Hope is the opposite, though. It swells our hearts and makes us expand. Hope restores the life fear tries to steal. Yesterday already happened, and tomorrow isn't here yet. We've, we only have today. We've got people to encourage and another huge invitation to a life of whimsy. We can enter wringing our hands about what we don't know, allowing fear to take over the moment, or we can choose hope and let love reign. The path is yours and mine to choose each day. What will it be for you today? It's pretty good words from Bob Goff. Hope you guys have a great day and I hope your life will be full of hope and that fear will be replaced by his hope and the assurance that we are solid and secure in him. Thanks. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye. We love you.